Hey, Doombots, Tony Skinjili here with a very quick video on clubs, or more or less what you and your club mates are responsible for every day. Uh, now, obviously, there's 50 people in, in a club on average, and you want to be as close to cap as possible for things like club war, but mostly for donations and dailies, and we'll get into a little bit now. Now, a lot of things people wonder is, is there, does it matter uh, how strong the strongest person is versus the weakest? And yes, in some way, but as long as there's a nice balance, uh, you should be okay, especially if you're all working towards similar goals, maybe not necessarily the exact same team, but similar responsibilities uh, towards building a team up well enough to do well, uh, especially in Club War. Again, different video for a different time. What I wanna focus in on is the parts of the club that benefit everybody. And that's gonna be located right here. Now, every day you have daily club missions or goals or quests, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, sometimes they deviate, but they're usually some combination of the following three. The first is uh, defeat enemies in club dungeon mode. This is the simplest uh, solution. Uh, club dungeon is a reverse tower uh, or uh, obviously what it sounds like a plunge a dungeon where multiple players will challenge the fights and the first person to challenge the fight gets to pick a door if they pick correctly you can proceed if not someone has to re-challenge that fight until someone selects the correct door now uh, is that difficult no it's actually kind of fun uh, especially the more people in your club the closer to 50 uh, everyone's doing the club fights at the same time, selecting the correct door, progressing. There are currently 20 stages of club dungeon, and you can do between four and five attacks, depending on if you're a VIP a day. So if you're perfect, it'll take you about four days to complete all of the club dungeons. But because there's so many people progressing through the club dungeon, it's more likely than not that you will at least get to the end or the opportunity to get to the end by the end of the week. That said, whether you're strong enough to get to the end, neither here nor there. The one benefit to this is it does track the number of enemies defeated by the entire club. And as you can check and see, right now 51 seems to be the highest total number, uh, 49 right here I am with a bunch of other people. And then some people are, I'm not gonna say dragon, but uh, not necessarily doing the club dungeon fights that they should be. Now, once you beat 1,250, you have completed all of the milestones for this quest, and you are rewarded with 1,200 club currency. Obviously, club currency is its own store. We talked about that in the exchange video. This currency is very important because it's what everyone gets. So the more your independent contribution is, the more everyone benefits, which is why it's important to get at least your four free attacks in every day. And if you have a fifth or could possibly have a fifth through VIP, then that's also going to benefit. It'll help balance out the people who truly can't progress early game. And by the time everyone can beat all of the club fights, it should be a no brainer. This should be easy to complete every day within the 24 hours because it's just the four fights. Uh, moving on to the next, we're gonna skip this one for now. Moving on to the next one, it's arena battles. Once you enter the PvP arena, this one becomes a little bit more difficult because you have no control over which fights you get. You only have control over how you can do. And since you can't quit in PvP arena, which I think is one of the dumbest things about this game, I shouldn't be forced to sit there uh, and get beaten when I know I've lost, and there's nothing more toxic than having someone rope you in a fight because they just walked away because they knew they weren't going to win. Uh, that said, it is what it is right now, so it is important to get a decent number of arena battles. At the very least, you should probably be doing four arena battles a day anyway, and the very simple reason for that is four arena battles. It will unlock your daily arena chest, which will give you a decent amount of materials and Robin Hood shards right now, Robin Hood being the arena character. If you track, uh, if 50 people do the four minimum fights, you're going to get right around here. You're going to get to this rank. So you probably would like to do a little bit more. This one tends to be the one that players don't frequently reach the final reward on. Uh, this is pretty par for the course, getting an extra 600, but 
if you guys are, are trying to push for more club dungeon points for everybody, you'll notice that it's not a huge jump to go from 600 to 900, only an extra 50 attacks, so five attacks per person makes this easy. You're obviously gonna have some players that love doing fights in arena, and they're gonna do a lot more work. For example, Soundless has done 26 on my team, and uh, everyone else has done four. So, <laughs> the minimum. So, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to get this one every day, but this is the one where you should easily be able to get somewhere in this tier without worrying too much about uh, holding back the entire lines. So obviously, this is the most important one. This does require quite a bit of attacks by a lot of people. Early game, it's very unlikely you're able to do this. Late game, uh, it becomes a bit of more of a are how competitive your club is. And now we're going to go to club donations. This is the one that I think a lot of people get caught up with. And the reason why is because in most players' experience, they're going to request, I can leave the screen now, they're going to request the item that they need, right? I need, let's see, I need one of these. So I would click request on this item because of course I need it. Why wouldn't I request it? The problem is, especially in new player territory or uh, early game players, you need the same stuff everyone else needs. Everyone needs the same brooms, everyone needs the same independent ingredients, the same threads. Everyone needs the same everything. And because of that, when everyone is requesting an item that everyone else needs, they're less inclined to give it away. So as you're progressing, one way to make sure you get all your donations in, or at least as many as you can, is in the early stages of the game, even right now, we've been playing this game for four months, my entire club, and we still do this. We request terrible items, rank one items that we have an excess of at all times. So this is a heart mote. There's plenty of different motes. Uh, they're all usable to bring a character from level one to level two and maybe even sometimes level three. But these are, you kind of get them for free. You get them as you farm other gear that you want. This is what I would recommend everybody requesting for an extended period of time. And the main reason why is early game, the more club points you get, the more you're going to be able to buy better gear, invest in key characters, and ultimately progress by getting the currency, the club currency, over just getting a handful of pieces of gear that honestly most of the other people in your alliance can't afford to give out either. So that's the number one mistake I think a lot of players are making right now. And it's it's an honest mistake. It's one that would make sense. You want to request the gear that you need right now. You don't realize that other people, the 49 other people in your club, just can't afford to give it to you. So if you start requesting gear that you know you have an excess of and you know everyone has an excess of, talk with your club and figure out what that item is and make sure that's what you request. This way, you're getting a guaranteed, no questions asked, free shot. How many more screens do I have to click through? Free 2,500 club credits, which, as you know, will go for a long time. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it as far as the one, you know, 101, how to engage with your club, how to make sure you guys are moving to success. And sometimes there are different quests. They're all relatively simple. It's relatively easy to uh, progress in them. It just requires you playing the game. And a lot of them, you don't need to spend any money or time. It's just about getting the very simple aspects of them done. Uh, and as you progress, you will be able to do them easier. But I will recommend, please, 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 do not request high-end tier from your clubs early because no one else has it and everyone else needs it too, so they're less inclined to share. So now, uh, obviously like, comment, and subscribe, but comment below specifically with uh, what you've experienced in your club. Have you guys noticed that uh, you're requesting tier four gear and no one's giving it to you or, or you're seeing somebody request gear and you look down and you go, but I only have two of them. Uh, hopefully you guys have figured this out by now. If not, hopefully this video did help you uh, learn that one piece of information. And if you're trying to run or manage a club, hopefully now this you have rules in place to find the way to succeed in this endeavor. Uh, anyway, I want you guys to have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.